to my channel. If you're new here, hi, and Jesse, thank you so much for stopping by today. Guys, today is grocery day. I'm going to show you all the groceries that I got at Woodman's. The total was about $207. I'm gonna turn around. I'm gonna show you the cold items first, and then we'll get into the non-cold items so I can get those put away as always. All right, guys, I'm gonna turn it around. All right, guys, we got a lot of cold items this week, but I'm super excited about a lot of new finds. Um, if you guys didn't watch the last grocery haul, I am personally trying to do a little more gluten-free stuff. Don't worry guys, there's tons of stuff in this haul that's not gluten-free. I'm just going gluten-free. My family is still eating regularly. Anyways, so if you're gluten-free, you might get some ideas of some cool stuff. Or if you're not gluten-free and you just wanna try something that might taste good, I will let you guys know when I try them if they're good or not. Anyways, let's get into this. So the first thing I got was sushi for Jeffrey. He wanted the spicy crab roll. It's cooked. Guys, look how fantastic and delicious that looks. Yeah, it's a little pricey, but so delicious and worth it. I'm going to be making some sandwiches. So I got this, guys, bacon cheddar cheese. Oh, my goodness. Look at real bacon <laughs> and the cheese. Fantastic. Crystal Farms. And then Jeffrey wanted some corned beef. And, guys, look at these cute little containers. I usually see the really small bags at Walmart, but Woodman's had these big guys. This is fantastic. Uh, but the big guy of corned beef. And then I got the honey roasted turkey. That just looks delicious. We went ahead and got the kids Lunchables. Usually uh, we get Roxley one too, but guys, he's in school. And these guys are going to have theirs for lunch. So we just got the our younger two kids ones. Uh, Rowan loves a nacho. We call it chips and cheese one. And then Renan loves a pizza and treats one. This was in the freezer section at, like, they have a whole, I love Woodman's because they have a whole section of gluten-free stuff, like a whole, like, two aisles full of it. And, guys, I saw they had these Pillsbury gluten-free ready-to-eat muffins. I thought this would be a quick breakfast for myself. They're already individually wrapped. You do have to keep them frozen. But that would be super nice, especially, like, you know, just quick, easy breakfast. So excited about those. Guys, I got these last week and I had to get another box. These are fantastic. The Nature's Path Organic Gluten-Free Buckwheat Wildberry Waffles. They are vegan, gluten-free. Guys, they're so good. The texture reminds me of kind of between like an Eggo and like a Kodiak waffle. Um, super good. Uh, really strong berry flavor. I really loved those. My kids love cinnamon rolls, and they love the orange ones, especially Ruxley. So I thought I would spoil them and go ahead and grab them some orange rolls. We've had a hard time finding these at Walmart, so finding these was a really cool find. Ruxley's going to be so excited when he sees I got him those. And the younger two, they love those. Guys, gluten-free donuts. These are the glazed donut holes. They have, like, a ton of variety of gluten-free donuts in the freezer section. And I went ahead and grabbed the donut holes because the donut holes were cheaper than, like, buying the bigger donuts. So I'm going to see if I like them first before I, like, you know, try them all. So I went ahead and grabbed these. Going to try them. They're dairy-free, nut-free, soy-free. How fantastic is that? That's the macros on that guy if you're into that kind of thing and the ingredients. I'll try these. I'll let you know. I'll put a little thing right here if I liked them or not. And then, uh, guys, we made this delicious dish, which I'm going to film hopefully sometime within the next few weeks. But we used shrimp in it, and so I need to grab some more. We got this. It's the Sensei. Sensei? <laughs> I almost said Sensei. Uh, karate Kid. Anyways, <laughs> Sensei. Uh, cooked tail off shrimp, peeled and deveined. Uh, so Rowan just had recently had her like well child visit. She was supposed to have it back in November, but we all had COVID. So we finally got her scheduled, got her into the doctor. She's a picky eater and she won't eat meat at all. Refuses. She'll gag with the texture. I don't blame her. It is what it is. Um, so the protein sources that she'll eat, I don't generally talk about this cause you know, everybody has their own opinions on stuff. You know, a fed kid is all that matters, right? You know, they take multivitamins. They're okay. She's growing fine. Doctor said she's fine. But she would like to see her have more protein in her diet. She won't eat peanut butter either. Uh, she will eat eggs. She will eat cottage cheese. Um, so, guys, she loves smoothies. And the doctor gave me a great idea to put Greek yogurt in smoothies. Because this is super high in protein. This has 16 grams of protein. So, this will be a great protein source for her. Fantastic. The other kids, you know, could use protein too. So, all of them can have a smoothie. 
Guys, Prairie Farms milk. I love Prairie Farms. I've missed it. Our other stores don't carry it, but Woodman's does. We used to have this back in Iowa. We would get this one all the time. It just tastes so much better. I'm not going to lie. Um, but we get the 1% milk, so we went ahead and grabbed a carton of that. Uh, we are out of chicken in the freezer, so I went ahead and grabbed two of these, the boneless, skinless chicken thighs. We love chicken thighs. They're cheap, easy, quick, delicious, fantastic. Um, guys, Foster Farms gluten-free breast nuggets. Guys, I was super impressed. This was only like $6.49 for a... 1.125 pounds that I feel like is a really good deal especially for gluten-free and no antibiotics ever no hormones guys that's fantastic if you want to see the back of that guy, that's what they have in there corn flour so that's what they're using instead of regular flour but guys super super good I'm excited I'm gonna try these uh, I'm not sure if I'll try them before I post this video. Um, otherwise, ask me down in the comment section. I'm sure I can eventually let you know whether I like them or not. I will let you guys know. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited for those. Jeffrey saw these brats. They had uh, Door County is like a local county here in Wisconsin. Uh, it's further away from us, but you know, pretty cool to try something local to Wisconsin. Uh, we got two different kinds. This is a smokehouse brand, Door County Cherry Bratwurst. I think that'll be really interesting to try. I don't know if it has chunks of cherry in it or just cherry flavor. I guess we'll find out when we try them. It looks like it might have chunks of cherry in it. We'll see. But these guys, I'm excited for this. If you know me, you know I love things that are mushroom and Swiss. And look at the chunks of cheese in that. That's going to be super delicious. Oh, look at it. It says gluten-free on there. I didn't even know that. That's pretty neat. I mean, granted, why would, I mean, I guess the meat can sometimes have gluten in it, but that one's not. That one doesn't say it. This one does. But that's pretty cool, guys. See, like, you gotta look at labels of stuff and then look at the back, see what the ingredients are, see if it's gluten-free, if that's what you're, you're doing. I'm just doing it because it makes me feel a little bit better, but guys, like I said, there's stuff, wait till I get to process stuff. There is stuff that is not gluten-free, <laughs> so no worries. 100% beef chuck burgers. We like to have these for lunches or quick dinners. Guys, I am low in iron. I tried taking an iron pill and it made me sick. So my doctor wants me to eat like green leafy vegetables. This is not the green leafy vegetable, but we need some sweet corn. So I'm gonna grab some of that. And then here's the leafy green vegetables. I got some broccoli cuts. I got some cut green beans and I grabbed some sweet peas. So there's those and then we went ahead and grabbed the kids some um garlic bread because we're gonna be doing spaghetti one day this week uh we went ahead and grabbed this it's a parmesan sliced uh texas toast this is so good they have like regular like breadsticks too so fantastic uh we are out of pizzas for the kids i think we only have one left and we like to have these on hands for like quick lunches or dinners for them if we're having something that they don't want to eat this is a meat lover's pizza. Okay, I also said Rowan doesn't eat meat. She'll eat bacon, she'll eat salami, she'll eat pepperonis. Uh, I think that's, ah, uh, yeah, that's generally about it. Anyways, uh, she won't eat the sausage on that, but she'll eat the pepperoni. Anyways, off track. <laughs> Jack's original thin crust, the meat lover's. I think he said he grabbed two, but we'll see. One of those supreme, I love their supreme pizza, so good. Yep, two of the meat lovers. And then another pepperoni one. I'm gonna try this, guys. I'm so excited. This pizza was only like five bucks and some change. I think it was just five bucks. Jeffrey, do you remember how much the Palmeiras pizza was? Five ninety nine, I think it was. Only two hundred fifty calories per slice or per what does it say? Per one fourth pizza. That's not bad. Anyways, Palmeiras Primo thin gluten free pizza, roasted vegetables, so delicious. And then I'll add some pepperonis on top if I want. I might just do the veggie. Pretty fantastic. Yum. You want to see what the what's in that? Here's that. Pretty cool. I'm excited about that, guys. I'll let you know if it's any good, hopefully in the future. Watch my what's for dinners. I'm sure you'll see it in there. All right, guys, that was all the frozen stuff and cold stuff. I'm gonna get that in the fridge and freezer and then I will be back to show you the rest. Here is the rest of the haul. We're gonna start over here. We got a thing of bananas. 
Guys, I don't like their produce very much. Um, it's not the best, but we needed some more bananas, so I just went ahead and grabbed that. Uh, I'm not going to talk too much about this, but Paisley, look what I found. A vanilla double-decker one. I'm so excited to try this. Um, the Nature's Bakery Fig Bars. Guys, I love these, and I found that they have them in gluten-free. You have no, ex no clue how excited I am about these. And I got the pomegranate flavored. I'm excited to try those and compare to like what the normal ones taste like. I went ahead and got some Snyder's gluten-free pretzel sticks. These are honey, mustard, and onion. That sounds fantastic. There's no soy, no dairy, no casein, no egg. They're gluten-free. I assume they'd probably be vegan at that point. That's what's on the back of them if you're curious. But yeah. Super delicious. Oh, no egg. Hey. There's somebody that watches my channel that has issues with egg. Guys, look at those. You should try them. That's fantastic. Uh, this is like a little snack section we got going on here. Jeffrey wanted to try these. I kind of do too. They're sweet and spicy sunflower seeds. Guys, sunflower seeds have iron in them. Um, so that was, you know, pretty good. They've got 1.2 mil milligrams of iron, 6% of your daily value. Super excited to try those. Yeah, that's why I got them because they have iron in them. No, I he, he like some, but that's one of the reasons I was looking at that kind of section and he saw them and was like, oh, can I try them? I'm like, yeah, I actually want to try them. And then guys, we went ahead and grabbed these. Uh, Jeffrey wanted them. They're the turkey bites. Uh, guys, I think it's like jerky. Yep. It's like jerky. And then, um, he got the mango sriracha. They're gluten free. That's not why we got them, but that's pretty cool. Turkey bites. Delicious. And then he grabbed... A Korean barbecue flavor. Yum. And then I grabbed these. I love beef jerky. It's high in iron. This has 6% of your daily value. Super excited about that. Nice little snack. Sweet baby rays. Honey barbecue beef jerky. Yum. And then I went ahead and grabbed the sweet and spicy beef jerky. Yum. So good. I believe that is still probably 6%. Yep, 6% fantastic delicious gluten-free bread i'm excited guys i'm gonna give this a go and i'm gonna make some sandwiches you guys already saw the cheese and meat that i'm gonna use this is the canyons big house gluten-free bread i've never tried gluten-free bread or this brand before so that'll be a whole new experience for me 100 whole grain honey oat bread it is gluten-free dairy soy and nut free um, if you want to know what's in the back of it, that is what that is. Oat flour, sorghum flour. Yum. There is eggs in it. It's not vegan. Delicious though. Super excited to try that. I will let you guys know what I think. And then some more snacks. Guys, I had bought chomp sticks in my last grocery haul. These are so good. I grabbed the jalapeno beef stick one last time. That one was really good. It is uh, gluten-free, Whole30 approved. I think they're keto. I might be wrong, but I think they're keto. That's what that guy looks like if you're curious. Yum. So good. I tried that one, and then I tried the turkey one last time. I was really surprised because most turkey stuff has kind of like a rosemary undertone flavor to it. This did not. I really enjoyed that guy. And then... Uh, original beef stick. I didn't try the original, but I'm sure it's fantastic. I really enjoyed the, um, both of those. <laughs> I really enjoyed both of those, so I'm sure I'll enjoy this one. All right, and then over here, Bob's Red Mill. This is gluten-free oatmeal. It is the apple pieces and cinnamon. Guys, that sounds so good with flax and chia. Flax is high in iron. Let's see what this guy has in iron. Two milligrams, 10% your daily value. Fantastic. So good. Super excited to try that for breakfast. And guys, I'm running low on some puddings. I used, uh, I started using up my puddings because we thought we were moving. We ended up not moving. Anyways, I needed to restock on pudding. Uh, I grabbed a lemon. That'll be great for the summer. Guys, I'm ready for summer, spring, warmer weather, and that's what that makes me think of. <laughs> I'm actually going to be making a cookie recipe that'll be coming up on a video for you guys on Saturday, so tomorrow. So make sure you go check that out. It's a Valentine's Day cookie. Guys, I know you guys are probably sick of the gluten-free thing, but that cookie will be gluten-free. 
but all you have to do is like sub it for regular flour if you're not gluten free. See, that's make stuff that works for you. And you can always use recipes that have stuff like that and then just change it to something that works for you. You know what I mean? Anyways, um, then I grabbed vanilla, the chocolate fudge, and the cheesecake. Yum. And then guys, we grabbed this Martha White's gluten-free blueberry mix. We've tried the one that isn't gluten-free and my kids really seem to enjoy that. So I wanted to give this a go. I might do a taste test. Let me know guys, would you want me to do a taste test? Me and Jeffrey, where we try this, the Pillsbury gluten-free blueberry ones and uh, the um, regular Martha White blueberry and give them a go and see what we think of all the different, you know, if they taste the same, if which ones taste better, let me know down in the comments. I will for sure do a video for you guys if you want to see that. If not, that's fine too. I just thought I'd offer because I know some people are curious if gluten-free tastes as good as the regular stuff, you know? Guys, goody girl fudge striped cookies. Guys, if you, I don't think I've ever mentioned this. I have a love for fudge striped cookies. I don't buy them very often because I will eat like the whole box. <laughs> Um, they're gluten-free, no peanut, kosher, dairy. Um, guys, they have a birthday cake, like almost like an Oreo situation one. And I didn't grab that because I have a ton of Oreos. If you just saw my recent taste test video, you would know I bought three containers of different Oreos. Plus I just grabbed gluten-free Oreos. So we have like four containers of Oreos. Don't need any more Oreos. But I wanted to go ahead and give these a go. Um, I had seen them, um when I was looking online, because uh, Woodman's has like an app and you can look online to see like, you know, I typed in gluten-free and looked through other stuff and I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, that sounds delicious. That's what that guy looks like. So excited to try those. I'll let you know right here if I thought they're good, because you know, when this is over, I'm gonna probably wanna try them at some point. <laughs> um, into this stuff, we needed some more pasta. We've been enjoying the brown rice pasta. It is gluten-free. It, they are right. Good texture, not mushy. Jeffrey actually really has been enjoying this with me too. And not, he doesn't, you know, tell a difference. He will say that those, if you overcook them, they get kind of mushy and they're not best texture wise, but these are really good. Fantastic. We got grab the spaghetti and the brown rice. Guys, Next week, I think I'm going to grab, they have lasagna noodles. I think I'm going to make a gluten-free lasagna. I think that'll be super good. Keep an eye out for that in my what's for dinners in my grocery haul next week. I think that'll be super delicious. Rowan saw this. She loves like shells and cheese and like all sorts of mac and cheeses, even if it's not shells. So I went ahead and grabbed this for her to try. It's a Cracker Barrel Macaroni and Cheese Dinner Sharp White Cheddar. Guys, I love Nora Pasta Sides. And look, they have a gluten-free uh, spinach Florentine with penne pasta. Thank you to Jeffrey. He saw this while we were there. So I'm super excited to try this. Uh, it has spinach in it. So I'm sure, yeah. Oh, look at the iron on that guy. 2.6, 15%. That'll be fantastic for me. I'll let you guys know if it's any good. I enjoy their other pastas. So it'll be nice to give that a go. See if I like it. Uh, like I said, Rowan and shells and cheese, the creamy garlic shells. She likes those. Guys, I love mac and cheese. I'm like a little kid and I haven't ate mac and cheese in quite a while. <laughs> it's just not something that I tend to gravitate towards. Like I said, a lot of uh, stuff like that kind of makes my tummy angry. I usually put up with it to eat that stuff, but um, lately it's just been getting really bad for me. So I saw this and I was super excited. I wanted to give both a go, see which one's best. I've always loved the Kraft original, but they had a gluten-free one. So I thought that was really cool to try. And then guys, gluten-free Annie's. And this is the shells and cheese. I wanted to give that a go, see if we like it. Why not, you know? All right, guys, and then we got some ramen noodles. Jeffrey likes the spicy ones. He got the hot and spicy chicken and the hot and spicy beef. Uh, Ruxley also likes noodles. He calls them spicy noodles, even though those ones aren't spicy, but he likes the beef, so we went ahead and grabbed that. Both the boys will eat those. Guys, if you've never had this before, you need to try it. I had seen other people haul it before, and I never tried it. I slept on it. I'm disappointed I did because it's so fantastic. Vigo... Vigo Saffron Hillary. When anybody says Vigo, do you think of Ghostbusters? I sure do. <laughs> Anyways, this rice though is so good. Try it if you see it. We went ahead and grabbed two bags. Also, the shrimp goes in this. So hopefully you'll see. Maybe we'll make it for what's for dinner next week. I don't know. But the recipe is so good. I can't wait to share it with you guys. 
And then guys, I think I'm going to make meatloaf this week. If not, probably next week. And I saw these Italian style breadcrumbs. These are gluten free. And I wanted to give these a try in my meatloaf and see how they are. Super excited to try that. Went ahead and grabbed some ketchup. We went ahead and used our spare one and put that in the fridge. And uh, so I need another one up in my cupboard. I always like to have another one on hand because we go through a lot of it. I've never tried the food club one. So we'll give that a go. See if we like that. I'm sure ketchup is generally ketchup most of the time. Uh, but not Duke's Mayo. Duke's Mayo. You cannot not do Duke's Mayo. This is fantastic. I don't think I can ever go back. It's fantastic. So good. If you don't you never tried it i would try it. jeffrey wants to try these sauces but we haven't seen them anywhere uh if you guys have let me know down in the comments this is sugar free as well as guys this is also gluten free i'm sure you guys are sick of me saying gluten free but you know there, a lot of people just put that on their packaging to up the price of things but i think that's super cool i kind of like it now that i'm kind of looking for gluten free things if a package says it it just makes it easier than me having to look through the whole you know ingredient list Anyways, I'm jabbering your guys' ears off. Uh, we grabbed some more cream and mushroom soup. I had done like a beef stroganoff situation the other day. I don't, I generally don't put this in there, but I went ahead and threw a can of that in there. So I needed to grab another one. Guys, Frank's Quality Kraut. We had made um, brats last week. And so if I do brats, we generally do beans and sauerkraut with them. Um, Frank's quality kraut is the best without the caraway seeds. Fun fact about me. I don't like caraway seeds, guys. I think they're gross, but I really enjoy this. Um, and then, cause I don't have it in there. <laughs> Anyways, bushes, maple and cured baked beans. Guys, these are so good. And guys, they have a lot of protein in them. 1.6 milligrams and delicious gluten free. Look at that guy. Fantastic. Guys, these cereals, if you've never seen these and you see them, pick them up. I found them like a few years back. I want to say like three years ago. And I'm so glad I did because these are so good. Mom's Best Cereal. A lot of people like, you know, that like are like organic and stuff like that. You'd probably like these. Not artificial flavors. No synthetic colors. Made with real cinnamon. Um, you know, and then two made with renewable energy source. I don't think they're organic. But still, you know what I'm saying? Like people that like that kind of thing. Uh, I would try it even if you don't because this stuff is fantastic. It is better. It's supposed to like mimic like cinnamon toast crunch guys the toasted cinnamon squares so good look at the packaging though too that is so cute little australian creatures on there and then also the honey grams this is supposed to be like a knockoff of golden grams really delicious really like these they've got bees and camels on that guy so cute and delicious i think these guys taste better than the actual you know cinnamon toast crunch and golden grams try them if you see them let me know what you think uh, some teas and stuff. So, guys, <laughs> you saw me get this at my haul last week. If you watched it, if not, I will leave a link down below. Go watch it. Pretty cool. Um, guys, Arnold Palmer Southern Style Half and Half Sweet Tea Pink Lemonade. So good. Uh, I'm going to give this guy a go this week. It is Arnold Palmer Strawberry Half and Half uh, Iced Tea Lemonade. I think that's going to be so good. Look how cute that packaging is. Again, all the little strawberries. A fun fact about me, I used to golf and I love golf and that guy's a golfer. And then this Arizona Kiwi Strawberry, it's a fruit juice cocktail. This is not tea. I'm going to give this a go. See what I think. I thought it was tea for a second, guys. And then I saw it's fruit juice, con or fruit juice cocktail. I'm sure it's so fantastic. I had tried this last week. Guys, I always try one of something before I go ahead and buy the whole like line or brand. Just I've learned my lesson with that. Um, this is the Newman's own 100% of profits go to charity. 100% profits to charity. Anyways, Newman's own organic raspberry ice black tea. Slightly sweetened. This is super good. 70 calories. Fantastic. I really enjoyed that. Um, so I went ahead and grabbed the uh, passion fruit as well as the lemon. They also have a peach one. Fun fact about me, I don't like peach. I'm not a huge fan. I just don't like peaches. Um, so that's what we got with that stuff. And then, guys, we grabbed Dr. Pepper cream soda. Jeffrey liked it. Guys, they had a sale on this. These were 3 for $12. Okay, can you guess what happened to that guy? <laughs> I was carrying him in the house and he ripped open. Woohoo! I wanted to cry, but at least none of them broke open. There is that. So uh, some of those are already down in the little thingy. Jeffrey put them there. But uh, yeah, they all fell out all over the floor. Well, not the floor. It was outside the ground. 
on the cement. I'm really lucky they did not burst. Thank God for that. <laughs> I already wanted to cry, so. But we have had a hard time fighting this, so the fact they had it on sale, fantastic. Uh, and then stay free maxi pads. Guys, I'm a female. Uh, if that bothers you, I'm sorry, but uh, I need these. I like the ones that have like a little more protection. Um, I usually get the Always brand, but guys, for some reason, like I have had them on for like less than 10 minutes sometimes and the fabric rips on them. I have noticed that like the last few times I've bought them. So I don't know if they changed something in their design or something. I don't like it. It just really makes me angry because I feel like I'm wasting my money. So I went ahead and grabbed the Stay Free Maxi to give that a go. Anyways, guys, that is that part of the so haul. Thank you for coming along with me. I hope I gave you some ideas. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I really appreciate your support. Um, and if you're gluten-free, I hope I give you some ideas. I know how hard it is sometimes to find gluten-free things. So I think it's kind of fun that I can, you know, show people other food that isn't gluten-free as well as gluten-free. Helps two parts of the community, you know, all the love for everybody. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a big thumbs up and press that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click that little notification bell button so you are notified every time I post a new video. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>